Hi and welcome to another episode of Ready Steady Eat. My friend Sandeep has taught me how to make a very nice simple potato stew, especially from the north of Kerala. Very nice in taste and absolutely easy to make. So let's learn how to make Kerala potato stew. What we require is two large potatoes cut into cubes, mm -hmm. two large onions sliced, yes. two coconut milk, one is a lighter one, one is a heavier one. And you have one inch piece of ginger, you have around six cloves of garlic, mm -hmm. four green chilies. Yeah. This you can put depending on how much spicy, spicy. you want. You have two sprigs of curry leaves, around four tablespoon of oil, oil. two tablespoon of uh, black yep. pepper, mm -hmm. one large tomato mm -hmm. and one inch piece of cinnamon, four to five small cloves. cloves. Of of course, you need the salt to taste. Oh, it's very easy. It's a two-stage process. Yeah. And always, I think we have to remember is, you know, uh, there is a huge propensity for the for the milk to split. Okay. So that's why, you know, you have a light milk first, which okay. you cook in. Yeah. And then when you add the last milk, you're not supposed to boil it. Boil it. Okay. So right. make sure that you have to, it has to be in a very medium heat. Sure. So basically, you, you add oil. oil in the pan mm -hmm. and you, you can... You can put the cinnamon and yeah. the. So it starts. Releasing yeah, it the just flavor just releasing the, the flavor. And then you add the onions. Yeah. You just saute the onion. Till they turn around translucent, is it? Yeah, it, uh, we don't want the onion to be also again cooked too much. Yeah. Because you want to bite the onion. Yeah. So in the meantime, I'm gonna just take the ginger and garlic, give it a crush. First, you crush the ginger. Yeah. And the garlic separately. So we put the garlic, the crushed garlic. Then in the meantime, you can uh, slit the, the green chilies. You don't want co cross-sectionally slit because then it releases all the flavor in it. Yeah. You know, you want you also want the green chilies to be a little bit holding up. Holding up with After, the flavor. Yeah, right. absolutely, yeah. Then you just add in the... The bay leaf, curry leaves. The curry leaves. Right. Then you, you add, add the, the, potatoes. the potatoes. And you can add the... The light milk first. The light milk first. Oh. You can add some salt to taste. So you add just one teaspoon of black in pepper beginning. in the beginning while it's cooking yeah right and then now you should leave it to cook uh -huh. for how long uh, till the potatoes are done okay that long whatever time it what, takes. yeah whatever time that takes because you know that you know we on get a low flame on a, yeah on a low flame you can keep it uh, medium. medium and keep it shut and you can cook it all right so Sandeep do you think it's ready now Let's yeah we'll just uh, check check it out and uh, basically you know you need to take a fork and yeah, I think it it's is ready. almost ready. Okay. So this is when you put the tomatoes. In. Tomatoes. So um, now what we do is we put the tomatoes. We give it a, a stir. Yeah. Yeah. Nice stir. So that's the consistency you you may want to achieve. Now you put the tomatoes. Now your tomatoes are in. Now again, just increase the the heat and uh, bring it, it to a boil or yeah, bring it. Just keep it shut and bring it to a boil. This has come to a good boil. Yeah, so it comes to a good boil. Ready. I think I think it's almost ready. So now you, what you do is you simmer it, <coughs> okay, mm -hmm. and you add the heavy, the, the, heavy, heavy, the heavy. thick milk, okay. Thick coconut cream. Thick coconut cream. Once you put the thick coconut cream, you put another the rest of the pepper, and then you can actually put a few curry leaves just to you know as a garnish, in the, and then just mix it. So that's it. We can take it out and we can plate it. Yeah. Coconut being a personal favorite of mine, I can't resist anything with coconut and then potatoes and then there you have it. Absolutely right. Goes very well with bright bread. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this recipe today as much as I've enjoyed tasting it, do try this at home. Leave me back your comments. I'll be more than happy to read them. Don't forget to press the like button below. And do subscribe to my channel Ready Steady Eat. This is Harsh signing off till another interesting episode. See you.